Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at question 1151, minimum swaps to group all ones together. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using a sliding window approach. The first thing you need to figure out in this problem is that how many ones there are in the given array. And the reason why you need to figure it out is that once you have the number, your window size will be uh, the maximum number of ones that you have in the array and you'll be moving in uh, with that window size. So you need to be able to figure out which sub array will give you the maximum ones in um, that window size and the difference between the actual number um, of ones with versus the number of ones in the sub array that you found. That is your answer because that's the best solution that you could possibly find. Um, I hope that was clear. If not, let's uh, writing the code should make it easier for you to understand. So let's jump right in. Uh, the first thing you need to do is actually get the sum of the entire array. So um, that would be arrays dot stream. Uh, you would just provide the array data and then you would just sum it up. Wait. Uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to initialize a couple of uh, variables. Let's call it current sum. Let's initialize that to zero, and then we'll call um, the maximum window size. Uh, and we'll initialize that to zero as well. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is have a for loop. And since you're actually using um, a window, you would need two pointers, one to point towards the left and the other one to point towards the right. So let's do that. So let's initialize L to be minus one, R to be equal to zero, um, and R should be less than data dot length. Um, and you would keep incrementing R. Awesome. The current sum, what you would want to do is you would just want to increment uh, the value that you're seeing right now. Since it's just ones and zeros, if it's zero, it doesn't really make a difference. If it's one, you would actually adding it. So it would just be current dot sum. You would add um, whatever element that you have at R. And the next thing you need to check is that if R minus L, if it is greater than the sum, that means uh, the left pointer and the right pointer, um, if the size is bigger, bigger than the actual sum th that we have seen, you need to decrement um, the leftmost element that you've seen. So that would be uh, current sum uh, decrementing by data of since L is at, since we've initialized L to be a minus one, you would want to increment it previously, not uh, after you've actually done the computation and once you've done with that step you need to compare the sizes so you would say max width would be equal to math.max of um, the previous max that you already saw or the current sum that you have perfect so this keeps a track of the maximum number of ones that you see in the window that you're moving with each uh, each increment. So once this is done, now you know the maximum number of ones that you have in the window. You just need to get the sum. You need to get the sum minus um, maximum w. So what what does that mean? That means uh, we know within the given window these are the maximum number of ones, and there are there are x number of ones outside of this window, which is represent re represented by this number right here. So that is your answer. You just need to return that. Uh, awesome. Let's compile this and see if it's okay. Uh, all right. The first test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. Let's talk about the space and the time complexity. Uh, the space complexity of the entire solution is 0.1 since we are not really using any additional um, uh, space to store any of the information that we need. And then we have time complexity is of O of n since uh, we have to go through every single element in the array. Perfect. So that's the solution to this problem. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that. See you all in the next video. Peace.